In other nuclear news, URDEP, E-U-R-D-E-P, it's an organization funded by the European Union. So it is a well-constructed piece of instrumentation that spans, oh, about a third of <laughs> a continent, right? Go take a look. You can find this thing. It's a very stable, strong well-scienced, well-propositioned data collection system that people look at and analyze. Reams, tons, piles and miles of information collected from across the EU in order to protect themselves. So that is the purpose of your DEP. It is an early warning system in case of a leak. People can go get their iodine tablets because that's what you have to do. You have to supersaturate your body with iodine 131 or the right iodine isotope that's stable, not 131. If you don't have the right iodine in your thyroid, it will take up the bad iodine and will give you thyroid cancer, thyroid disease. That will be called something else probably because nobody likes to admit that that happens and it's easier. The test to actually prove it was an irradiated thyroid would probably cost a lot of money and answer questions people don't want the answer to. But that's science. So your DEP reported a radiation release. They have reasonably <laughs> reasonably. This is so how the industry works. So why am I talking about your depth? There's a big story going on there. There was a radiological release from some type of commercial facility within the region that will have stochastic results of maybe 10 or 100 or 1,000 additional cancers across the whole region. This is the subtle. This, that's called a stochastic stochastic result. If your healthcare system is good and healthy, you can track those stochastic results over decades. America's healthcare system isn't like that. So take some time, go look at your DEP and see the instruments they use. Now come back to helpless America and our inability to collect information and understand statistics. There's no less than three to five and more U.S. measurement sites that were commissioned before even I was born, that were being set up when I was born. It's part of civil defense systems we used to have because people understood why we look out for radiation. So our U.S. sites, instead of getting better, instead of getting updated, instead of becoming latest, greatest state of the art, have all stayed in 1950s technology, 1950s software, 1950s front ends. No new analytic tools to look at that data. And frankly, I challenge you to go look at that data. I will help you go look at that data if you want. We'll analyze the structures and figure out how to, so, but we can't do that. I don't have the horsepower. Maybe somebody else does but they're disparate data sets that you've got to be able to make relationships with. This is, some, this is shit that people earn doctorates from. They earn PhDs from studying these things. So, along with this nuclear sales pitch, what they're leaving behind is of note. They are not improving early warning systems because they know it will catch them, those people, those multinational corporation hiding, Weasley butt hiding within states' rights. Coke industry runs all over. This is how these businesses are run, manipulating states' rights to sell us nuclear waste. 
nuclear is it's going to be the new Cheerios. Yum yum, eat them up.